Hey guys, welcome to the stream. This is Rod Erigata coming to you live from Broken Head Ojibwe Nation. We're here for the 2022 Chief and Council nomination meeting, and this is brought to you by Turtle Nation Holdings. And we're about a half, well, 40 minutes into it right now, and we just had a couple of announcements from Electoral Officer Burke Ratty, and we're going to get all this stuff set up here for you guys right now. All right, so I'm, my signal's dipping low, which is not good, but I'll find a way to fix that. Might create some lag on the stream. Just give me a second here to fix it. All right, that might work. It's just putting me in the red, so it's going to be a little bit of lagging on this. All right, uh, well, not much I can do about that. That's that's the connection I got to work with right now. i to try to take you guys over here real quick and see some of the names that have been nominated so far, some of the members that have been nominated so far. So there's the full board. Make it close enough where you guys can see everything. Okay, and I'm gonna set up the uh, camera real quick. I'll be right back in a second. That's a good question. Uh, under the Indian bat? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 So incarcerated or BCR'd off, right? Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, no, they're allowed to vote because um, the this process is under Indian Affairs. It doesn't prohibit them from voting. Now, if they're BCR'd off the reserve, they can use a mail in or they go to the Winnipeg poll. Okay. They can't come here, right? They can still vote. If they're incarcerated, I need to know uh, where they are, and I can send them a voting package. Well, our family member can get a hold of me and just let me know the name and where they're where they're. Uh, yeah. 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 No, it, it, this process allows incarcerated members to vote. So I just need I just need a family member. I need a family member to get a hold of me. Let me know who they are. Yeah. So the question is, they're allowed to vote? Yes. But again, if membership doesn't know that, family members, give me a call. Uh, uh, the checks and balances are, I'm sure it's a controlled area, so I will believe face value who they are, where they're incarcerated. I'll send it out. Okay? Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, so we got everything set up. We got some people in the building here. We'll give you guys a better view of the place. Okay, we have another nomination in for another counselor. Another nomination announcement. Earl Allen Prince. He'll be known on the ballot as Earl Buddy Prince. He signed off. Thomas is the nominator, and Corey Allen Prince is the seconder. All right, so that was a quick announcement. We are here today until 8 p.m., so if you're wanting to come in and nominate someone, you have until 8 o'clock to do so. The meeting started at 5 o'clock, so we've been here for about 45 minutes almost.
Your election date is April 18th, 2022. For those of you that are here in Brokenhead, it will be held right here at Private Tom Chief Memorial Center. And the polling stations are open from 9 to 8 p.m. I have to find out um, the location of Winnipeg yet, but I believe you have a location in Winnipeg to be able to vote as well on the same day. Elected chief and council will be elected for a two-year term. And there's one position for chief and four positions for councillors to be elected on April 18th. Okay, so a bit of an update for those that just arrived. Uh, this is the nomination meeting for Broken Head Ojibwe Nation Chief of Council election. Here at uh, the hall between 9 in the morning and 8 p.m. in the evening on that date. There's going to be an, um, a poll, a, an alternate poll on the same day, not an advanced poll, an alternate poll in Winnipeg at the Marlboro Hotel, 331 Smith Street on the same day, same time. Um, there's also mail in voting allowed, so members have that option of voting by mail in or coming to one of the polls on election day. All right. If uh, you have a family member that hasn't received any mail from me, that means I don't have their address. Uh, give my information, you know, pass along their information to me or get them to call me because I have to call them back to verify they want a voting package, but I can do that as well for just any updates. If there's a concern on the voters list, someone's missing, you have to go to membership. I, uh, I don't have the authority to change it, okay? And it has been updated since last posted, and they're continually looking at it and updating it accordingly. Again, why is that? Because Broken Head controls their own list. Uh, you don't use the Indian Affairs list for elections, for election purposes. If there's any questions on the process, that's why I'm here. So right now, uh, pro if you want to nominate someone, come on up to the table, see one of the deputies, there's some paperwork to fill out. Uh, if you think your candidate won't be here, let me know. They don't have to attend. And just remember, once someone's nominated, they're going on the ballot unless they withdraw. That's how it works with this process. It's not, it, there's no, the accepting is just a, a formality. Once you receive two nominations in, you go on the ballot under your legal name, but you're, but if you get a hold of me, the candidate, if the candidate gets a hold of me, they're allowed to change it up, put a nickname on the, on the, for the ballot, okay, for uh, voting purposes. So again, nominators, seconders, let those, uh, let, let your candidate know that uh, you've nominated them and there's some paperwork to hand out when you get to them. All right, thanks. All right, so we'll go to the board. Well, we got somebody maybe standing in the way, but I'll try to get to the board anyway. All right, so there's the main board, and what we're trying to see is right here. These are the chief candidates that have been nominated so far. Harvey Olson, Gordon Blue Sky, and Deborah Lori Smith. On the counselor side of things, back it up a little bit so we can see it. We have Wendell Jr. Sinclair nominated. Remy Olson as well is nominated. Christopher Kent. Amanda Lee. I can't see the last name. It looks like it says Sharon, but I could be wrong. Casey's. Alan George Hagalak. Earl Buddy Prince. That's the nominations there. Got some more people coming in and nominating some members. Looks like he's got another announcement coming up right away, perhaps. <clears throat> well, we'll see.
just a reminder, uh, candidates, you have five days to withdraw yeah, your name one. if you decide you don't want to run. Get a hold of me. I'll do my best to keep track and uh, get a hold of the candidates. So just a reminder, nominators, let them know they have five days from today to withdraw. That's why this is just a tentative list. The final list won't be out until five days. The ballot mail out starts seven days from now, the 14th. Shortly after that, everyone that I have a, a, a uh, address for will be getting a mail-in on and off reserve. Again, we're doing it the same as we did two years ago. Everyone's getting a mail-in on and off reserve. If you want to vote in person, fine. Uh, it's basically due to COVID and just you know safety and stuff. So at least it gives it gives uh, every band member that option. All right. Thank you. If, again, if there's any questions, that's a, that's what we're here for. Thank you. That is your electoral officer, Burke Ratty. There's the entrance. We got some people there. Candidates, Howard has oh, some it's going back to talking over there again. Kent was nominated. Doyle Strait, um, Dwayne Gilbert Chief is the nominator and Doyle Strait is the seconder. We have a nomination in for Chief, another one. Dwayne Gilbert Chief, and on the ballot he wants to be known as Dwayne Red Cloud Chief, so that'll go on there as well. Doyle Strait was the nominator for Dwayne, and John Kent was the seconder. All right, thanks. All right, so he's just updating the board. Take a second here to welcome some of you to the stream. Hayden and Jade Smith, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Octavia Bear, how you doing? Welcome. Jane Doe. Tim Trey. Tyler James. Mary St. Clair Chartrand, welcome to the stream. Tim Kent. Stephanie Williams, welcome. Dolores Chief Abigosis, welcome to the stream as well. Randy Thomas, Lori Cruz, Julie, Julie Crow, sorry, apologies. Welcome to the stream. We are here till eight o'clock today. If you guys are looking to come in and nominate someone. We are at Private Tom Chief Memorial Center. Here in Brokenhead. Make that emblem a little bit smaller, perhaps. There we go. <laughs> Looks like you got another announcement coming up right away, or no? He's just doing some checks on the wall.
TurtleNationHoldings.com is where you get a hold of us if you want us to come on to cover one of your events or if there's something we can help you with in project development, waste management services, First Nation electoral and referendum services, which is what we're doing today, administrative and management services, assistance in the administration of capital projects or expenditures. That's a little bit of the stuff that we do. Okay, but if you're looking to get a hold of us, there's the information for you to, Alan to get a hold of us. Nominated for chief. We got another nomination. Charlene Hakaluk is the nominator. The seconder. If Alan is here, feel free. Of, um, again, once you're nominated, you're nominated. You're going on the ballot. Candidates, if you decide you don't want to run, you have five days. I can remove your name from the ballot then. You can still withdraw during the process, but your name remains on the ballot. If that's the case, it's a candidate's responsibility to let the voters know they've withdrawn. All right, so that's how that works. So, okay, Alan McLeod will be our next candidate for chief. Thank you. Go back to the main view here. <clears throat> we will go through the board too as we go along and there's nominations coming through. We'll make sure that we show you guys the board, the updated names on the list. I'm going to be uploading this footage too later on onto YouTube. I was locked out of my YouTube account for a while and I'll have access again to it. So make sure that we upload that for you guys there. If you want to find us on YouTube, you can find us under Turtle, Turtle Nation Holdings. You'll see that logo with the turtle in the middle of it. And then you'll know that you found us. That's where you're going to find the footage from today and, of course, the footage from the ballot counts on Election Day. So we got another announcement coming up right away. This is uh, the check mark represents that they were here tonight and they already signed up, signed off on how they want their name on the ballot. Again, candidates do not have to attend the meeting. Uh, nominators and seconders, I know I sound like a broken record, but let the candidates know you've nominated them. They may not want to run. But under the process, legally, once you're nominated, you're going on the ballot under your legal name. <coughs> but if you sign your nomination form and how you want your name to appear on the ballot, that's fine as well. So that's what these check marks represent. These candidates were nominated here, they're here. They've signed off on how they want their name on the ballot. The others, they're still candidates. And we won't, again, we won't have the final list until five days from now because candidates have that amount of time to decide, well, if I'm gonna run or not, they can withdraw if they want. They can get a hold of me for a bit of a name change even. Uh, after that deadline, the ballot's printed, the mail-out starts, there's no changing the ballot. However, you can still withdraw during the process, up until 8 o'clock election day. I've had that happen with other elections. 
And what happens is it's the, it's the candidate's responsibility to let the, the voters know that they've done that. I can't get involved in that if that were the case. So, so far, this is what we have. Five candidates for chief. We've got Harvey Olson, Gord Blue Sky, uh, Deborah Smith, Dwayne Chief, and Alan Great Sky McLeod. For Councillor Seven, for now, we have Wendell uh, Jr., he signed off on that. Sinclair, Remy Olson, he signed off. Christopher Kent was nominated, Amanda Casey was nominated, Alan Sam Huckaluck was nominated, Earl Buddy Prince was nominated, he signed off, Sam already did, Ramey did, Wendell did, and then John Kent was here, he was nominated, he signed off on it as well. So that's it for updates. Any questions? Okay, let me know if there is any. We are live streaming. Just a reminder, we will live stream the poll and of course the bell account. Uh, check on the feed, Rod. Where, where is it at, Rod? What's Which that? Site? It, it's on the Broken Head site. Broken Head site. Yeah. So just make note of that, and uh, for the bell account, you don't have to come to the hall. Just watch it on the Broken Head. Uh, it'll be uh, streamed on the Broken Head site. What's great is it's actually documented and recorded, so there's no he said, she said, and I've, I've seen it all in other elections. Or well, this happened. Well, no, it didn't happen. So that's why I team up with Rod Argata. He provides a live stream uh, with my election work that I do, and uh, it's great record keeping, and we have that. So in case there's any potential or alleged discrepancies, right? Again, if I don't have your, you or your family member's address, it's their responsibility to get a hold of me. And my toll-free number is listed on the documents for the candidates uh, that, that we've uh, provided. Cell number and email. It's only six o'clock. Your election date is April 18th. It's on a Monday coming up next month, April 18th, 2022. And those of you that are wanting to vote here in Brokenhead, you can do so at Private Tom Chief Memorial Center. Polling stations are open from 9, sorry, it says p.m. I should say a.m. till 9 p.m. I got to fix that. And um, they also have a location set up in Winnipeg on the same day at the Marlboro Inn.
something should or shouldn't be on it, let me know. We got to get a hold of membership because they're the ones that are authorized to take people off or put them on. Just a reminder, right? It, it's being worked on as we speak still, just to be sure that everyone that, who should be on it is on it. Otherwise, we are here accepting nominations. One, one position for chief, four positions for counselor. Quick update, Chris Kent did sign off. Uh, I just put a check mark so everybody kind of knows. Candidates are not obligated to confirm whether they're running or not because the process is once you're nominated, you're nominated. It's about withdrawing if you don't want to run. So having said that, there's just a few, uh, but the candidates have five days to decide what they want to do. As I mentioned earlier, after the five day period, the ballots are printed, the mail out starts the next day. So on the 14th, the mail out will start. And as we did two years ago, because of COVID, everyone will get a mail in on and off reserve. We have all the addresses just like we did two years ago. So you have options come to the poll or send a mail-in. You can have someone drop off your mail-in on your behalf. There's a form to fill out, perfectly allowable. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And anyone can drop them off. So we have that, just bring that up as a reminder about the process. We're gonna, we are gonna live stream, of course, the poll on election day here. Uh, great record keeping and we'll do the ballot count as well. It'll be on the Broken Head website. Got Rod Aragata back there. He, he does all my live feeds for my elections. Great job, he's perfected it. Any questions over here? That's over here for, uh oh, Sweet Pea has arrived. <laughs> AKA Leo, okay, no. <laughs> You're not allowed to talk here, Sweet Pea, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're, okay, so we're here till 8 o'clock accepting nominations for Chief of Council. One position for Chief, four for Councillor. So far we got for Chief Harvey Olson running, Gord Blue Sky, Deborah Smith's been nominated as well running. We got Dwayne Chief and Alan McLeod. Great Sky on the ballot. Seven potential candidates. We got Wendell Sinclair Jr. He signed off, Remy Olson signed off. Chris Kent also did as well. He signed off. Amanda Casey's was nominated. Um, haven't heard from her yet, but uh, she has five days. Regardless, she's been legally nominated. She'll still go on the ballot unless I hear otherwise from her. Alan, Sam Huckalock, Earl Buddy Prince, and John Kent so far. That's it. That's all we have. Candidates, make sure you pick up the voters lists. And uh, I got withdrawal forms. I got uh, about five or six different documents, a standard letter. Uh, nominators, if your candidate's not here, pick a package up on their behalf and get it to, if you wouldn't mind, just get it to them.
All right, I think he's going to be making another announcement shortly. We're going to go to the board and check up on things real quick. Uh, we'll start off over here, I guess. More to the center on the first one. There we go. So you got five candidates for Chiefs so far. Harvey Olson, Gordon Blue Sky, Deborah Laurie Smith, Dwayne Red Cloud Chief. I can't see the last one. I know it's Allen, I know it's McLeod, but I don't know what the... Oh, Bear Sky, is that what it says? I think that's what it says. Great Sky, that's what it is. Sorry, my bad. Apologies. So that's your five nominations for Chiefs so far. And now we're going here to the Counselor Board. We have Wendell Jr. Sinclair, Remy Olson, Christopher Kent, Amanda Lee... Shaleen, is that what it says? I can't see the, the next name. Casey's, Alan George Hockaluck, and Buddy, I'm sorry, Earl Buddy Prince. We have John Kent and Sean Edward Kent. Those are your nominations for council. I have to go back up there and take a look at the names properly because I, I can't read it from that far. His writing, his writing is a little bit not messy, but hard to read sometimes. Someone says the lagging sucks. I'm sorry, nothing I can do about it. That's that's the signal you guys have here. I'm wired in too. I'm not running wireless, so because it's wired, I'm supposed to get the strongest signal. But it is dropping pretty low. Uh, let me see if I can fix it over here somehow. I can't change that anyway. It's already streaming. Yeah, not much I can do about it. I'll try to drop down the frame rate just a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to help a whole lot, but we'll do it. Uh, we'll go 1,500 with it. I don't know if that's going to help, but definitely drop the frame rate, so it should be picking it up a little bit. Marion F. Tom, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Randy Thomas, Lisa Prince, Kim Stadfeld, Kimber Don, welcome to the stream. Gwen Bray, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, well, I already answered who's on the list so far. I just said that. I'm just catching up with some of the messages from earlier. Melissa Sinclair Bear, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Nigel Kent, Dallas McCorister West, welcome to the stream, guys. Fran Freeman, Denise Wright, Jessica Smith, Beam J. Peter, heavy lag in the stream. I know nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry, guys. Monia Swift, Lindana Olson, how you doing? Tyler James, same here. It must be the res internet. It, it, yeah, it kind of is. It, well, I have enough speeds, but I think there's three of us sharing off that speed, so it's kind of slowing it down a little bit more. Is the live stream taking official nominations? The live stream itself is not. You have to come in to do it here with Electoral Officer Burke Ratty. Once you come in the doors and you bring in your, your, uh, the no nomination, who are you bringing in with you, then you'll register you. But you can't do it through watching on the stream, though. No. I'm just an operator. I'm, he's the Electoral Officer. Farrell DeJarlis, so he's going to say okay, something so here right away. Two candidates, Taylor I need Jean. seconders. Is it Franco Galvin? <laughs> Fra Fra How do you, I'm sorry, I butchered that one. Okay, I can't read. It looks like a U here. Francis Galvin, sorry. I should know. So anyway, uh, Mary Short trying to nominate. You need a seconder by 8 o'clock for Chief. And uh, Paul Harvey Chief, Paul Harvey Chief was nominated for counselor, but he needs a seconder by eight o'clock. So those are the only ones pending right now. Again, um, candidate, uh, members can run for either position or both. I think, I think we all know that. You don't have to be a member to run for chief, but you do for counselor. There is no residency uh, clause anymore. That ended many years ago. 
so you can live on or off reserve to run for councillor. All right? So far, we have eight candidates for councillor and five for chief. Those, those individuals have received two nominations uh, uh, this evening. <clears throat> I just want to stress that once you're nominated, uh, you're going on the ballot under your legal name, but you can change it on the form on how, what you're more known, uh, known as. You can get rid of all those Franco names. Tyler, okay, sorry. Taylor, Tyler, Taylor. So, Taylor, you can, you can shorten it up, okay? I'll have to call that out if you decide to run. So, um, this is what we have right now uh, with these two pending that need seconders. And that's it. If there's any questions, again, we'll have a poll here, 9 to 8. One in the city at the Marlboro Hotel, 331 Smith Street. We are live streaming right now. Yeah, right there. Uh, we're going to live stream the poll and, of course, the ballot count on Election Day. Great record keeping. And uh, members, you can just stay at home and watch all the fireworks. Okay. And I wish all the best to the candidates. Um, um, and your families. Uh, so we're again, we're here till eight o'clock. I'm here accepting nominations for the Broken Head Ojibwe Nation. One one position for chief, four for councillor. Any questions? That's what we're here for. Rod, do we have anything online? Nothing. No. Okay. We also take questions online. We might screen them. No, Kathy. No. <laughs> Sorry. Do what? No, no, that was through mail. We did get some mail. You have to, it, it's just in person. Yeah, there's no uh, nominating now through the mail or online. Well, it depends. It's in person. We did get some mail in nominations as a result of the mail out, but that's what Harvey Olson, he got three in. And that was it. We had well over 1,200 addresses and packages go out. That's pretty well normal for Broken Head. I've, again, I've been the electoral officer for many years, and that's, you know, that's, believe it or not, that's pretty normal. We didn't have a lot of uh, uh, mail return, so a lot of the data is accurate, so that's a good thing. Uh, on the 14th, seven days from now, is when the, pa the voting packages will be mailed out. And like, is she on the list? Oh, Jennifer, they need you. Okay, so mail packages will go out. We did it. We did it two years ago. It's just to give everyone on and off reserve an opportunity to vote by mailing. Okay, and with the COVID restrictions and all that, keeping in mind with that safety. So members, you have an option. Uh, if you haven't received any mail from me, it's because I do not have your address. Please get a hold of me, Rod. You have my uh, numbers and stuff posted online. Okay, great. Anyone here in attendance uh, can. Uh, of course, give you my email, uh, cell, toll-free number as well. Pass along to anyone. All right, thank you. Taylor. <laughs>
nomination forms, you could drop it in, we'd accept it. But anything, oops, hang on. Anything that comes in after five o'clock is no longer accepted. You can only nominate in person at that point. Doug Boyd, how you doing? Debbie Mosdell, Larry West, welcome guys. My name is Rod Arigata. You can see my name on the right side, bottom of the screen. If you guys want to add me or follow me on Facebook, feel free to do so. If you're looking for me to come out and do maybe some coverage of one of your events, whether it's election or something different like a sporting event, um, birthday party, whatever you want, weddings, let me know. You can contact me through Facebook and I will gladly come out and help you out for your event. If you're interested in a business card, you can come in here and see me before we leave at 8 o'clock and I'll give you a business card so you can get a hold of me that way. And I'm nervous here. Okay. Taylor Jean Francis Galvin has been nominated for Chief. Mary Chartrand's the nominator, and Mervyn Galvin is the seconder. Okay? So your name will go up. Uh, just like any other candidate, you have five days if you do not want to run to withdraw. Otherwise, all the best. We have some information here. You can sign up now or later, but regardless, your name is going to go on the ballot for chief. Unless I hear otherwise from you. All the best. All right, so we'll do a quick recap here on everything as far as what's going on today and what's going on for election day. Today we're here for the candidate, or not candidate, sorry, I was gonna say candidates forum, which by the way, I do do those too. Uh, Chief and council nomination meeting open from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. There are two polling stations available. Sorry, I gotta do something here real quick. <laughs> so there's two locations for you guys to vote at and we got the first location right here. Broken Head, Ojibwe Nation, Private Tom, Chief Memorial Center. Polling stations are open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. Yeah, oh, just we got reminder, another announcement. You can nominate more than once and for either position uh, or both. So, so far we have six. Councilor. Six candidates for chief, nine for council, he said. Uh, where was I now? Just waiting to see if there's any other announcements. Looks like he's about to make one, but maybe not. Well, maybe not. All right, so we shall proceed. So we have one polling station area set up or location set up here in Broken Head. It's at Private Tom Chief Memorial Center, which is where we're at right now. And then we have the second location is going to be in Winnipeg, Manitoba, at the Marlboro Hotel, 331 Smith Street. Polling stations are open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. as well. There is one position for chief available and four positions for counselor available. 
or I guess that's that's what the process says to be elected. Coming up on April 18th, just around the corner, sort of. Seems like the days are going by a little bit faster nowadays. And those that get elected, the elected chief and council will be elected for a two-year term. Time is now almost seven o'clock, quarter to seven about. We are here till eight o'clock, so you only have about an hour and 15 minutes to come down and nominate someone if you're looking to nominate someone today. You need your nominator, your seconder, and the candidate. Looking for some help in your community to be able to deal with some waste management, some projects and stuff, go check out We Indigenous Solutions, Inc. And when you go there, you'll see all the information about them, everything they have to offer. But they can help you guys with waste management. They can help you set up some programs that will be eco-friendly to make your community work a little bit better, more efficient. It's going to make an right, announcement right now, so we're going to Nasser, switch over Wesley right away. Allen Kent has been nominated. Everett is the nominator, and Sweet Pea Star is a seconder. Is Wesley here? No? Sweet Pea or Evelyn? Do you think, are you guys going to see him? Oh, if he's here, okay, because I have some uh, papers for him. Like, Okay, well, he's been nominated, so... Wesley, you've been nominated. If you, there's some documents here you can pick up. Voters listen to that. Uh, unless you're, you know, if you want to sign on it, fine. But you have been nominated, okay? Any questions that you guys may have for Electoral Officer Burke Raddy, you can ask on the stream right now, comment in the comment section, and when I see your question, I will forward it to Electoral Officer Burke Raddy, and then we'll try to get you guys an answer for your questions. Len Sadar, Linda Fleury, Michael John, welcome guys, welcome to the stream. Laura Sinclair, Spring Abanza, Jackie Palmer, Carol Bear Grease Willett, Willett, sorry, welcome to the stream. Hope everybody's having a good evening. It is Monday, the beginning of the week. Some people dread it, other people love it. I'm on the fence about it, not sure if I like it or not, depending on the how I wake up, I guess. Wake up in a mood, Monday's a horrible thing. <laughs> so just doing another nomination, completing the forms. I'm not sure if that's another new candidate or if it's just one of them that's already been nominated, just trying to fill out the paperwork for them. I forgot to fix one thing, just thinking about it right now. I fixed it too. I have to do it again. Um, Ethan Kent is a nominator and Taylor Jean Kent is the seconder. So that'll go up as number 14.
Well, I don't know what happened with the signal, but it boosted right up. I, I dropped the signal for a second, and now it's going good. So I'm not sure. Maybe other people are tuning on the stream and using the signal as well. That could be the problem, possibly. How you doing? I just dropped the signal, so I restarted it again. Okay. All right, and well, what happened now? It looks like it dropped it again. I'm not sure what's going on with the signal, but it keeps acting up on me. I apologize, even though it's out of my hands, but it's still bothersome that I'm going through that lagging issue. Can you span the nominee sheet, says Winston the Jarlis. Absolutely. Yes, zoom in if possible, please. Or just name them, thanks. Absolutely, I will. Um, I'll do the zoom in first, and maybe I'll do the names at the same time. Why not? All right, so we're going to go over here first. We're going to start off at the chief board. So, and they had to add a sheet to the left side because there was only one sheet okay, set up and they couldn't do anything update. to the right. So far, we have 14 potential candidates. For chief, you'll note that one individual has been nominated for both positions. It is allowed under the Indian ban election regulations. I cannot stress enough times. Nominators, let your candidate know they've been nominated. I'll do my best to get a hold of them, but again, once you're nominated, you're going on the ballot unless you withdraw from the process. That's the process under the Indian Ban Election Regulations. You can run for both positions, be on the ballot, even get elected for both. It's happened in other elections. Um, so far, again, there's 14 for councillor and seven for chief. Just again, a reminder, there's that five-day period should a candidate want to withdraw. Otherwise, those have been nominated here to meeting, their name's going on the ballot. You can withdraw after that, but the name remains on the ballot, and it's the candidate's responsibility to let the membership know they've withdrawn if someone withdraws from the process. As we did two years ago because of COVID, everyone, everyone that I have an address for on and off reserve are gonna get a voting package in the mail. You don't have to use it. If you don't use it, there's a form to fill out and come to the poll. I should note, for two years ago, we had a lot of mail-ins and fewer uh, walk-ins. And that's because of the, you know, COVID was relatively new and no one was really back. So everyone, a lot of people stayed home and opted to go by mail-in. Those options are there again for this election, just in case uh, we have elders and community members that are, are a little apprehensive on uh, visiting an, an actual polling station. Polling stations will be here at the Private Tom Chief Memorial Hall, 9, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., April the 18th. And there will be a poll in Winnipeg, the Marlboro Hotel at 331 Smith Street. Same day, same time, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., April 18th. Uh, my deputy, Sherry Lynn, was there two years ago uh, running that poll. We'll be in communication every 25 to 30 minutes. Show report in who voted there. I mark them off on my list here and vice versa. That way we, we know we can ensure there won't be any potential double voting. It'll be every 25 to 30 minutes. Um, unless someone's doing 200 kilometers an hour, there's no way they can make it here. And it worked very well. We, I know we've never had an incident where somebody attempted to try to double vote. Again, we're here till eight o'clock and if there's any questions. Rod, do we have anything uh, on the live feed at all? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. We will live feed the, uh, the election poll on election day here on reserve, and we will live feed the ballot count. So you don't have to show up at the hall. Just zoom on in and at home, and you can watch the ballot count. Uh, Rod Aragata, he uh, does a lot of the live streaming for me. He does it all, actually, and has a really good uh, uh, process.
Again, if there's any candidates here that haven't seen me, I mean, you don't have to, you've been nominated. Feel free to come on up, indicate how you want your name on the ballot. If I don't hear from you, your legal name on the ban registry will go on the ballot. Again, all the, all the best to the candidates. Thanks. All right, so we're gonna go back to the board. Hopefully he doesn't grab the mic to make an announcement again, but I'm gonna try to get on the board for you guys. All right, so somebody was asking if I can zoom in or call him out, I'm gonna do both for you guys. You have Harvey Olson, candidates for chief right now, that's where our nominations for chief. Harvey Olson, Gordon Blue Sky, Deborah Laurie Smith, Dwayne Red Cloud Chief, Alan Great Sky McLeod, Taylor Jean Francis Galvin, and Winston, I cannot see the middle name. Oh, Winston Michael DeJarlis. There we go. I thought I couldn't see it, but I could. So here is your councillor nomination list. We're sitting at 14 currently. You got Wendell Jr. Sinclair, Remy Olson, Christopher Kent, Amanda Lee Shalene Casey's, Alan George Hockaluck, Earl Buddy Prince, John Kent, Sean Edward Kent, Paul Harvey Chief, Wesley Allen Kent, Farrell Kelvin DeJarlis, Marlene Rose Smith, and slightly over to the right, and we'll do that too. We have Winston Michael DeJarlis and Kevin. Earl Ross Thomas, I believe that's what it says. A little bit hard to read the, the writing. But we'll go back and we'll leave it all there for you guys for a second to kind of check it out and see the names for yourselves. Maybe I'll remove the Bond logo in the corner so that way you guys can see the names fully. There you go. I'll leave it on there for a little bit for you guys too so that way you can kind of look over it and well, I can't, well, yeah, I can probably fit it all in there. We'll move over here like this. It's not as good though when you back it up, right? You can't see. <laughs> Domination meeting is open until 8 p.m. It is now six, or sorry, 7.15. You're looking at 45 minutes left if you're looking to come in and nominate someone for the selection term. Go back to the main view here. Okay, we have another update for Councillor. Another announcement coming up. Deborah Laurie Smith. That's the same person nominated for Chief. Yes, you can run for both positions. Sean Kent is the nominator, and Tina Kent is the seconder, so she will go up for both positions. Again, just a reminder, you can run for both positions under this process, and it's the candidate's responsibility to get a hold of me should they decide to withdraw from any or all positions. Okay, nominators, let, let that person know. Thank you.
question is, if, if, if you haven't received any mail from me, that means I don't have your address. So family members, get them to get a, you know, text me their full name, treaty number, uh, birth date, and um, uh, of course their forwarding address. There's lots of time. Again, you know, we have seven days from now when the mail out starts, and it's ongoing. So I can, you can, you know, again, I can receive updates accordingly. So just a reminder, I had a question on that from one of our voters here. So I am having some disconnection issues, lagging issues, and stuff like that. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. It has nothing to do with me or my system or, or my equipment. It has strictly everything to do with the Wi-Fi connection and how strong or how weak it is in the area. And uh, well, I think I've improvised it a little bit. It's definitely getting a little bit faster now that I've made some adjustments. Um, but like I said a little bit earlier, it's kind of out of my hands if the signal spikes or drops um, that's not uh, it doesn't have anything to do with me it has to do with the Wi-Fi and the system here is set up with a modem in the back plus a wireless extender in the front and so when, when we're using the stream for the for the stream or sorry when we're using the Wi-Fi for the streaming wired the way I do it we get most of the signal however because that that modem is sending the signal to the Wi-Fi extender as well, which is a wireless connection. And then every person that connects to it draws off that signal, and that signal is drawing most of the, the Wi-Fi from the stream. So I have to figure out something here. They might have to reset the code or something for elections, so that way it's limited to how many people can use the signal while they're here. The more people that tune in, the more it affects the, the signal only because they're using the Wi-Fi repeater and it extends the wireless signal so it uses more energy or more power to draw the, that signal that it's looking for to be able to give everyone some, some Wi-Fi. What? The key? Make sure you lock it. Yeah. In the back, in the trunk, on the left side, there's a yogurt. Can you bring it to me? A yogurt too? I have to ask for some food because I'm starting to get hungry here. I figure I can make it here on a three-hour stretch and not worry about food, but I was wrong. <laughs> I was totally wrong. And so it says here that the live stream has been interrupted, and it shouldn't have been interrupted. It should keep going, but, yeah, it looks like it's been interrupted. I lost the signal for the Wi-Fi, too. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. The signal is kind of... Oh, that was loud. Microphone dropping. That wasn't my microphone, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with the signal. I can't get anything going here. I might have to use my data. Just trying to avoid using my data, but... 
At least then I can see what's going on in the room here. Oshawasqua, Oshawasqua. Yeah, I seen that it says the live stream is freezing, but it's not me I'm telling you. It's the Wi-Fi, and it drops a little bit every now and then too. And it affects even the weak signal that I got right now. If by any chance we have Wi-Fi issues when I um, when I stream the ballots, the ballot counts. Um, if by any chance we have that issue, then I can always record the ballot counts and then upload the footage. I'd rather do it live, but you know, it's all depending on the Wi-Fi connection and how good it works. Dallas McCorister West, welcome back. Trevor the Journalist wants to know, Rod, can you zoom in on the names? Yeah, we'll do that. For sure we'll do that. We'll go to the first board here. Try to take it in as much as I can here. That's about as far as I can go for the zoom in. But I'll show you guys slowly. So we got Olson Harvey. This is uh, Chief Candidates nominations. Harvey, Olson, Gordon, Blue Sky. Deborah, Deborah Lori Smith. Dwayne Red Cloud Chief. Alan Great Sky McLeod. Taylor Jean Francis Galvin. And the seventh person nominated for chief so far is Winston Michael DeJarlis. Now we're going to go over here to the counselor side. It looks like he's going to about to make another announcement again. We'll hold it here. We're going to go through the first two rows. So we have Wendell Jr. Sinclair, Remy Olson, Christopher Kent, Amanda Lee, Shalene Casey's, Alan George, also known as Sam Hockalock. Earl Buddy Prince, and oh, he's going to make another announcement. Sorry, I got to back off from this. Thank you. This is a different John Kent. No. Johnny Five is his nickname, but that's all I know him as. But okay, uh, we're Sweet Pea. Help me out with this. Okay, I want to say. Marijuana, John Kent's been nominated. Okay. <laughs> Marijuana. Marijuana, no, no. <laughs> Sorry about that. I it's a mispronunciation. Sorry. Everybody's kind of um, laughing and chuckling at it right now. Sweet the nominator, and Hayden Jade Smith is the seconder. So uh, that name will go up. That's the name that will go on the ballot, unless you want to shorten it or put a name commonly known as, okay? Or decline. It's up to you. you have five, all candidates have five days to withdraw from the process. Nominators, if your candidate's not here, I can't stress enough, let them know they've been nominated. Once the five days hit, the ballots are printed, there's no turning back. Candidates can still withdraw after the process, but it's their responsibility to notify the electors that they've done so, because their name will be on the ballot. All right, thank you. So he's made his announcement. I'm going to go and zoom in on the board real quick because that's what we were doing. We're talking about the councillor list. And I'll do it all over again just because it was a bit of an interruption. I'm not going to do the chief board because it hasn't been changed. It's still the same seven candidates nominated on that one. But we'll go to the councillor sheet, which is here right now. We got Wendell, Junior Sinclair, Remy Olson, Christopher Kent, Amanda, Lee, Shailene, Casey's, Alan George, Sam Hakalak, Earl Buddy Prince, um, John Kent, Sean Edward Kent, Paul Harvey Chief. I just got to wait for him to finish writing so I can read the rest of the names. It's not bad. I mean, you guys still want to look at this anyway, so it works out okay for you, right? So, where was I? Paul Harvey Chief, 
Wesley Allen Kent, Farrell Kelvin DeJarlis, Marlene Rose Smith, Winston Michael DeJarlis, Kevin Earl Ross Thomas, Deborah Lori Smith, and Kiwanadi, Kiwanadi, Mawaha, John Kent. That, that's a okay, difficult one to remember. That's a difficult one to remember for sure. He's got Again, more talking. Candidates have five days to withdraw their names from the ballot uh, if they so choose. After the five day period, the names, those individuals um, nominated here tonight will go on the ballot. For those that were here and decide to sign off on it, they will have, a, they may have a slightly different, unique, uh, uh, what they're commonly known as. But if, if, I, if I can't get a hold of the candidate and they don't intend tonight, they don't have to, their legal name will go on the ballot if I'm unable to contact them or get a hold of them, All right, just for the record. So we have seven potential candidates for chief and 16 for counselor. We have so far two people nominated for both positions and that's allowed under the process. Not a problem with that. It's the Indian ban election regulations allow for that. Okay, any questions? We're here. We've got under 28 minutes to go and we'll shut her down and have a closing prayer. We had an opening prayer uh, if somebody wants to at, at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, thank you.
Okay, we have an announcement. Um, Deborah Laurie Smith is withdrawn for chief officially. She's going to run for council. So she's out of the race, okay, officially. She is the incumbent chief, so she's not uh, uh, seeking re-election for chief, but she is running for councillor. All right, I talked to her, so she'll be on the ballot for councillor. So for those of you that just missed that, he was just announcing that one of the chief candidates is withdrawing from the chief race. That's Deborah Laurie Smith. She will still be in the running for a council position though. She's just chosen to withdraw from the chief position. It's getting a little bit quieter here now. Most people are starting to leave. I'm getting closer to eight o'clock. Only 21 minutes left. For those of you that are thinking about coming in to nominate someone, you're running under the clock now, 20 minutes. Once you come here after eight o'clock, you will not be able to nominate anyone. So make sure that you make your way here quick if you're coming. Run our Total Nation ad real quick. <laughs> Very quick commercial, only 15 seconds long. So it went from six candidates for chief to, or sorry, from seven candidates for chief to six now. And we have 17 members that are nominated for council. If by any chance you guys want me to come back for a candidates forum, you let me know, you can message me, maybe you can get a hold of me. I give one person here, one of the members, my contact info, but maybe I'll leave the second one here with the lady that let us in today. And if you guys are looking to hire me to come out to do a candidates forum, I'm be willing to do that too. Candidates forums are basically an opportunity for the members who are running for chief and council to be able to, um, to be able to, pre to present their platform, their campaign platform. <clears throat> and I've done it different ways. I've done it where it's just for uh, just chiefs only, so a chiefs candidates forum, and I've had a chief and council candidates forum. So it's it's up to the community how they want to do it. If they're just interested on in hearing the platforms of the chiefs or the chief candidates, then I'm okay with that. And if you want to do chief and council candidates, then we can arrange that as well. <laughs> Everything will be timed and organized so let me know if you guys are interested in doing so yeah I have my name here on the screen so if you want to add me or follow me maybe you're thinking about it, you want to contact me that way then you can add me or follow me on Facebook and then just message me on Facebook you can also reach me at rod underscore Ariagada, A-R-R-I-A-G-A-D-A, -A -A, underscore 204 at yahoo.com. And once you message me, if you want my cell number, I will connect you with my cell number as well. I like the candidates forums for myself as as a streamer who comes in to see the elections go through and seeing all the nominees 
Um, sometimes I don't really know who they are or what they're about. So when we have the candidates forums and they present their platforms, it gives me a good understanding of the candidates that are sitting in front of us that are going to be elected. Or that might be elected, I should say. We've done it in a way where you can present your platform and after you're done presenting your platform, we give you a couple of questions from the audience as well. And that gives you a chance to be able to connect with the audience and answer some of their <clears throat> some of their topics or concerns that they have as members of the community. Or you can just do a straight platform too if you want, no questions. You can also um, you can also make the questions ahead of time. You can ask your members the questions that they would like to ask the candidates, and then we can go with the top questions and ask every candidate the same questions to see how they respond to those. I have been asked to do a candidate debate, but I have not done that yet. But that's also a possibility if anybody ever wants to have a candidate's debate, maybe just achieve candidates. Of course, we will keep it civilized, right? But you guys can let me know if you're looking for those kind of services. And if you're looking for anything else, of course, you know, weddings, um, sporting events, pool, billiards, hockey, baseball, whatever, you guys just let me know and I'll see if I can help you guys out. The time now is 7.45, so we're officially in the 15 minute mark before the nomination meeting is closed for the day. And if you guys got any questions for Electoral Officer Burke Ratty, by all means, you can ask questions and I will get the question to him and get you an answer as soon as possible. Stephanie Williams, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Samantha Galvin, Cheryl Mashad, Elliot Grisdale, Sheldon King, Harvey Olson, how you doing? Corey Pangman, Vinny, Bob, Kuncom, welcome to the stream. Pam Burke Kent, welcome to the stream. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. I don't see any questions on here, so I'm assuming there's no questions. The only question I seen earlier is, uh, is the live stream taking official nominations, which it wasn't. We only take anything that's um, nomination form would have been due before five o'clock today. And the nominations that are being done here today are all in person. So if you want to nominate, you could still do it. You have 14 minutes right now. Even if you guys don't want to message me for some services in the future, if you want to just add me and follow me on Facebook, you can do so as well. I do stream different events. Um, I do a lot of billiards, eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, snooker. I do a lot of the um, elections as well throughout Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Always something to watch when it comes to me and my Facebook profile. Somebody taking pictures of the candidates. Now this isn't, I believe this is not an official candidates list because they have to confirm everything and everything has to be done within three days. I believe that's the usual way it's done. I could be wrong, but I believe that's the hey, way it's done. We have done. another update, everybody online. Uh, another live update streaming. coming up right now. Marlene Smith is officially withdrawn from. I'm just gonna indicate that she filled out a withdrawal form, so it's official. Marlene Thank you. Thanks, Marlene. has withdrawn. from a council nomination. And candidates are within their own rights if they want to withdraw from being nominated. They have the right to do so. 
So we have had two withdrawals so far. We'll go up to the board one more time. All right, so the only name withdrawn from the chief list is that one right there that he's marking off right now. Deborah Laurie Smith has withdrawn from chief nomination. And on this side, on the counselor side, we had Marlene Rose Smith withdraw from being nominated for council. So that brings the numbers down to six candidates for chief and 15 candidates for council. I guess we should just revise this right now since we're right here, right? Might as well. We'll go over to the chief board first. And uh, let me take this logo out of the way so we can see a little bit clearer on the screen. We have Harvey Olson. Gordon Blue Sky, Dwayne Red Cloud Chief, Alan Great okay, Sky so McLeod. There's a few questions. Huh? No. Read, uh, yeah. Uh, it says, can you please read the yeah. people running for chief? Yeah, and will the names be posted? Yeah. Yeah, names are going to be posted on the bottom website that we're uh, streaming from, but it won't happen until five days from today. So six day, day six from today. That's the official list, because remember, this list could change, could change a lot. You just, we just don't know what the candidates are going to do because they can withdraw up to five days, okay? So we, we really don't know what will happen. We've already had two people withdraw from the process tonight. Debbie, Deborah Smith withdrew for chief, running for counselor, and we had Marlene Smith withdrew for counselor so far. Um, they opted to do that, and, and they could do that. So. Right now, we're looking at 15 potential candidates for counselor and one less on chief, so six for chief so far. Again, just be aware this is not the official list. It could change uh, quite a bit over the next five days. We just don't know. We won't know until, until then. Okay, Rod, thanks, everybody. Yep. And it, yes, it will be posted on the Bond website. I, I, uh, I'll send it over to the, uh, the company that manages the website. Thanks. All right, and you guys, and oh, he's got another announcement. Wait. Okay. For chief, and we have nine minutes to go. I think another nomination is coming in here, but so far right now, for chief, we've got Harvey Olson, Gord Blue Sky, Dwayne Red Cloud is his uh, alias, I guess, chief is running. Alan McLeod, nickname Great Sky, our traditional name. Taylor, Taylor Jean Francis Galvin is running. Um, and then we have Winston, uh, Winston, De Winston Desjardins as well. Again, this list could change. Who knows uh, who will still be in the race after five days from today. For counselor, we got Wendell Jr. Sinclair, Remy Olson, Christopher Kent, Amanda Casey's was nominated, Alan Sam Huckaluck, Earl Buddy Prince, John Kent, Sean, Kent, Paul Chief, Wesley Allen Kent, Farrell Kelvin Desjardins, followed by Winston Desjardins, he was nominated for both positions tonight. Kevin Earl Ross Thomas was nominated. Deborah Smith, Deborah Laurie Smith. And we have Johnny Five is his nickname, and I have a hard time pronouncing his traditional name, but it, I'll give it a shot. Kiwanate Marwa, Marwaha John. Okay? Apparently he's known as Johnny Five, but um, that's the individual running because there's two John Kents, right? But that's his legal name and they're two different individuals. Okay, guys, we're, we're seven minutes and we're done. I think I have one more nomination, Rod. Okay. We do. Mary Elaine Chartrand is nominated. Marlene Smith is a nominator. And 
Sorry, seconder, you wrote your name, but I can't read it. Not, um, what is it? Caitlin Lapierre. Okay, thank you. Streaming. Um, can you take a package for Amanda? Can you get a package of documents for her? Howard, give Ramey an extra set because that's his wife running. Thank you. So, there's a, there, Just make sure everything's in there, that's all. Two minutes. Hang on. <laughs> No, you're already on the ballot. It's five days to a draw. Grab some, grab some, are you, which are you? Grab the documents. There's a withdrawal form there. I would suggest you grab one if you think you might. Yeah, yeah, but grab the documents because you have to get a hold of me with a withdrawal form if you want to withdraw. Otherwise, you are going on the ballot. Okay? Thank you. The last package went to Mary. Sure, I'll take the folders and we'll put them in the um, laptop bag. Okay, one minute and it'll be official and we shall see five days from now what the final list will look like. So Rod, I'll close it down. We'll get a closing prayer and then I'll read off the names, okay? I think Carl volunteered. He, you're going to... Carl, eh? Yeah, Carl. No campaigning, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just want to say. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Okay, it's eight o'clock. This meeting is officially closed. Carl will do a closing prayer and then I'll read out the names so everyone will know. A little bit of a speech from myself to remind everyone. Okay, Carl, sure. Do you want to use the I give thanks for today, and I ask uh, that to uh, look over our community, um, help us have a clear mind and a clear heart, help us see the visions that we want to see and that we need to see, to uh, think about our children in the future, and to think about those who are not yet born, and I say to me, great for that. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Live feed. Well, officially, here's who's going to be on the ballot, unless they decide to withdraw five days from now. This is who will go on the ballot. For chief, we have six candidates. One withdrew here tonight. We have Harvey Olson, Gordon Blue Sky, Dwayne Red Cloud Chief, Alan McLeod, uh, Great Sky will be on the ballot to identify him. Tyler Jean Francis Galvin is on the ballot for chief. So we have six so far for chief. And 16 for counselor. Marlene Smith withdrew tonight, so okay, so she won't be on the ballot. We got Wendell Jr. Sinclair, Remy Olson, Christopher Kent, Amanda Casey's Allen, Sam Hucklock, Earl Buddy Prince, John Kent, Sean Edward Kent, Paul Harvey Chief, Wesley Allen Kent, Farrell Kelvin Kelvin. Desjardins, we'll check that name, it uh, should be right. Uh, Winston Desjardins for counselor, he was nominated for both positions, you are allowed to run for both. Um, Kevin Earl Ross Thomas was nominated. Deborah Laurie Smith is running for counselor. She was nominated for chief earlier, but withdrew, so she is for sure running for counselor. <sighs> Kinoate Marwaha John Kent, different individual from the John Kent up for here. That person was nominated as well, and Mary Chartrand. All the best to everybody, okay guys? If, if there's any information, uh, get a hold of me. Rod, uh, my contact info is on the live feed. All the best to the candidates. Good night. All right, so that's gonna conclude the stream for today. Um, I'm going to do a couple of quick things here real fast, so make sure that everybody's got the same information. And we'll start off with the uh, poster. So this is one of the locations where you can come in and cast your vote on election day, April 18th, 2022. You can come here in Broken Head, Ojibwe Nation at Private Tom Chief Memorial Center, which is where we're at right now. The polling stations will be open from 9 a.m. till 8.30. 